You lucky bastard. Colby! Hey, what's up everybody? It's me, King Epic. I hope everybody's doing good. Um, so, I'm very sorry about yesterday. Uh, the My internet was just not working and we had gotten it checked up today. So hopefully I'm going to do a test stream after this video is done and hopefully it works. It was really weird because of the fact that it was not working for the streams, but when I would play a game, I would not lag at all. And I was just like, that kind of just, you know, makes no sense. But that, that's a whole different point. Hopefully it works today. If it works today, then definitely expect an hour and a half to maybe two hour stream because I do work at five. Uh, well, I think it's like 530 or six o'clock in the morning tomorrow um now i want to say this i'm going to talk about the enforcer class right now because of the fact that you know enforcers they, they, they i will say this they're lacking on the light side but on, on the dark side there is a variety which is really fun and i just feel like i just wanted to talk about them so we're going to talk about the death trooper because i have the death trooper gameplay going right now the death trooper is amazing uh personally I do think that there's some things that they need to fix on the Def Trooper that will actually help out. But regardless to the fact, the Def Trooper is amazing. He's not my favorite. The Flame Trooper is my favorite. If anybody watches my streams, whenever I get a Flame Trooper, I, I for some reason always go ham. I go on, on, on large kill streaks, and it's crazy. Now, before I actually go into more Def about the Def Trooper, Apparently, Overload did get a, a buff where it's actually more accurate on the Dev Trooper. I don't know if that is true. I needed to look at the patch notes. I didn't look at the patch notes. But uh, I have realized that whenever I use Overload, it is hella accurate, guys. It's a laser beam. It feels like a, a regular sentry, but just, you know, you're using a blaster this time. Now, some of the, my favorite things about using the Dev Trooper is the fact that it has the DLT-19. Uh, I used to use the DLT a lot in the first battlefront. It was one of my favorite uh, blasters because in the beginning, especially when the game came out, you know, I was using this blaster, I don't know, till I was like level 20 something or 30 something. And it was just a fun blaster to use. So I'm glad that they use it on the Death Trooper. Um, and then they, they definitely had it on the, on the first Death Trooper as well. But I didn't really get to use the Def Trooper in the first Battlefront as much because by that time, all the, the DLC and stuff is like, you know, you don't go back. Like, I didn't go back to it. I was like playing other games at that time. So, yeah, playing as the Def Trooper is definitely really fun. I love how they sound. They sound cool. They sound just like in the movies. Um, you know, the thing I really love and enjoy is that the fact that the enforcers for the dark side is just there's so many of them there's a variety you got the death trooper you got the flame trooper and you also have the b2 battle droid so there, there's a variety i feel like they, they definitely need to um increase the variety for the enforcers on the light side i don't know if they should you know i definitely want arc troopers rebel honor guards something so that i can actually you know start using the enforcers more on the light side i feel like i only use the enforcers on the dark side because you only have the Wookiee Warriors. Nobody's. You're not always gonna use a Wookiee Warrior 24/7. I will say this though, the Def Trooper is amazing, but he is not the best. In my opinion, I think the best is the Flame Trooper. Now we're gonna get into the Flame Trooper gameplay in a second, but before we go, he is downright my second favorite. I do enjoy playing as him, but eh, eh, you know. You can't compare to the Flame Trooper. Now let's get into the Flame Trooper gameplay. So the Flame Trooper, guys. The Flame Trooper, I just feels like... <coughs> sorry. Ooh. I just feel like the the Flame Trooper just brings a whole different type of, of variety to the, the game because of the fact that, you know, it's a Flame Trooper, guys. Like, who doesn't want to play as a Flame Trooper? Now, I remember during the beta, the Flame Troopers sucked. My God you couldn't use it i mean you could use it but it wasn't you know up to par as you know the wookie warrior or anything the flame trooper definitely needed a buff they buffed it and boom here we go i also love how the flame trooper looks flame trooper is also awesome but um i definitely want to say this his overload 
my goodness before they did the patch i believe it was two patches ago before they did that patch uh his overload used to just shred heroes i remember i used to be behind a hero and i, I could just shred them like 100 to, to zero health and I, you know real quick i don't know whatever you want to say but man the flame trooper is awesome i know some people still don't know how to use the flame trooper i definitely uh if you if you need any tips on the flame trooper on how to really use them let me know in the comment section below so i can actually help you out with that uh, but i will say this for some reason when i play as the flame trooper i feel like i'm just so dominant like i feel like i'm a terminator like i run up to wookie warriors i don't stand back and try and like Oh, let me wait till he gets distracted with someone else. No, I run up to Wookiee Warriors. I don't care. That's kind of the crazy thing because you would expect that, hey, you know, you shouldn't really just run up to a Wookiee Warrior because of the fact that they're super strong. No, Flame Troopers, I, I, I personally could care less. Um, now, something else that gets me, that which is really fun, is just the fact that his grenade. Oh, man, his grenade is so awesome. I personally feel like his grenade... Uh, it's just so fun because of the fact that especially with the explosives expert, you know once it explodes it actually You know has a, a good radius to it So that's just like hella fun to use especially when you throw it into like a choke point and you actually get like two or three people Man, oh, it's it's just so enjoyable now I'm sorry. I didn't say this about the death trooper unless I did but um, I do think they need to fix the death trooper sonic imploder because of the fact that his sonic imploder definitely needs to explode faster. I feel like everybody just gets away from the sonic imploder way too fast. And it's actually really annoying. I feel like sometimes you can't even just kill anybody with the sonic imploder. Sometimes you get a kill, but they have to be really low on health. Uh, regardless of the fact, I think it needs to uh, definitely have it where it explodes faster. The flame troopers grenade explodes pretty fast, so... You never have to like worry about people getting away from it sometimes especially like you throw it in a, in a choke point you're gonna see that you know you're definitely gonna get some kills out of it now uh what in terms of enforcers i think they definitely should start working on the enforcers for the light side uh i would really love to see some more enforcers but you know we're gonna have to wait for the content anyways i'll see you guys later peace out hope to see you in the stream later and i hope you enjoyed